Welcome to our final quick fire round called Scenes. We'd like to see, just for everyone, so if you can make your way to the performance area, please. Mm. I caught ideas for scenarios we'd love to see <laughs> and performance <laughs> came with their suggestion. <laughs> OK, here we go. The first subject is... Rejected questions from this year's exams. What colour does a Smurf go when we choke it? <laughs> Translate the following into German. Two world wars and one world cup. Do-da, do-da. <laughs> How many Pepper Army big boys could you feed to Victoria Beckham through a tube before she became visible to the human eye? <laughs> <laughs> What is the name of the force that pulls objects towards the centre of the Earth? Is it A, gravity, or B, magic? <laughs> <laughs> Katie Price is supposedly worth eight and a half million pounds and has got a thriving TV career. Explain. <laughs> If George Michael leaves at 8 o'clock for a five-mile drive, when does he crash? <laughs> there are six lines of equal length. How long will Kerry Katona be in the bathroom? <laughs> if a train is going at 70 miles per hour, how surprised would you be? <laughs> what is amnesia? Is it A, memory loss, A, Memory loss, <laughs> or for the Battle of Hastings. <laughs> if Sally buys three oranges and two apples, how far south of Scotland is she? <laughs> Discuss the idea that Willy Wonka was a paedophile. <laughs> what is amnesia? Is it A, <laughs> memory loss? <laughs> Draw a diagram of the male genitalia. Please use the tracing paper provided. <laughs> what are most Canadians renowned for saying? A... Yeah. <laughs> English, is standards declining? <laughs> Hitler, Pol Pot, Genghis Khan. Shag, marry or kill? <laughs> There's a wedding where Jane invites 20 guests and her partner Helen invites 40 guests. How angry is God? <laughs> <laughs> The next topic is unlikely things to hear on a TV business show. Well, the FTSE has had its best day since March. It went shopping, had lunch with friends and took in a show before shagging a complete stranger it met in a bar. <laughs> Our invention lets you know whether or not a girl fancies you. We call it beer. <laughs> OK, Dragons, I've developed a system that lets you get your own seat on the bus, and it involves talking slightly too loudly than pitting yourself! <laughs> this morning, I am asking for half a million pounds, and with that, I will buy half a million lottery tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Dragon. Oh, jeez, what the hell is that? That's Evan Davis, the host? I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we may have lost some money promoting Michael Jackson 02, but let's face it, I've just signed a deal for the new Oasis tour. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to Working Lunch, a show for people who are so good at business, they're sat at home watching the TV <laughs> in the middle of the fucking day. <laughs> Dragons. I have three words for you. Reggae, reggae condoms. <laughs> the last task was easy, and yet you cocked it up. I only asked you to blow the bloody doors up. 
This week, the Dragons meet a retired Nigerian brigadier with an offer that sounds too good to be true. Today, there was a hard drop on the footsie and I got a bruisey on my handy wandy. <laughs> This week, the apprentices face their toughest task ever, selling the shite Sir Alan actually makes. <laughs> OK, Jim, and the point's going to Frankie Hughes, Stewart! <laughs>